Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. I wanted to talk about bloat, getting some belly bloat, having a lot of digestive issues. This is something that I, I get messages about all the time. I have women emailing me all over the world asking about this because it's really frustrating and some of the information out there for women is not helpful, um, especially during certain phases of your cycle. Mm-hmm where your hormones are shifting and all of a sudden you're like, ooh, no matter what I eat, it's not going well. Oh, this is not great. What is happening? And you feel like you just blow up like a balloon in your abdomen and you're like, I, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I didn't do anything different. I didn't change anything. This is totally ridiculous that I am getting, my belly is just getting huge, like a beach ball. What the heck? So this is something that I'm gonna go through a few things to kind of target and focus on that will really, really help the bloat um, that you may be having and experiencing. Um, this is, I cover some of this information in my book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon. I do talk a lot about a lot of information on my podcast, which is The Female Health Solution. And I have some amazing podcast episodes coming up. So if you are not subscribed to my podcast, do so right now because it's incredible what I have coming. I'm so excited. Um, and then, you know, I have a 12 week program where I work with women one on one, taking them through nutrition for your hormones and cycle and everything. And the biggest thing here that, that women need to focus on that helps in terms of getting a long term result is, is working with things like this. Because uh, so often women are like, oh, I'm trying to get the result or I'm trying to have this, that, or the other happen. Or I really want to drop 20 pounds or whatever that is. You know, then that's great. But if your body's not functioning right, you're not going to be able to drop weight. Do you know what I mean? The female body is so protective and it's designed to store fat and it will kick up that fat storing, you know, message and have that go even more if things aren't functioning right for you. Great. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's super, right? <laughs> okay. So overall, when you're looking at below, so these are things that when I work with women one-on-one, -on -one, these things make a big difference in their overall results. We target this. We focus on this to make sure your digestive system is functioning as it should. And we're tailoring sometimes your nutrition around specific times of the month. Because for some women, it can be, they're like, oh my gosh, for these three or four days, it's the worst. And, and that just may be, you know, what happens for you and your body. So we tailor and tweak things so that you can sail through those days a lot easier without having it backfire on you and have a lot of bloating problems. So overall, when you talk about bloat, again, the recommendations out there, I remember reading stuff where they're like, oh, just drink more water. Well, your body hydrates differently during certain times of the month. So it's not just drinking more water that's going to help. It's not that easy, right? If it was that easy, you wouldn't have this problem to begin with. Ah, uh, duh. Mm, hello. Mm. So when we look at food overall, there's some foods that are inflammatory for, um, you know, for women that can cause your belly to bloat. Also, if you guys have questions, you can pop them below. You can ask your question below. I'll also put a link below where if you're not comfortable asking your question or you want to chat with me more um, individually, I'm more than happy to, you know, chat with you and answer any questions that you have. So I'll put that link below. Um, so food, there's some foods that are very inflammatory for your digestive system. Meaning, no matter how clean or healthy it is, and especially during certain times of the month, it can be harder to break down specific foods. Now, what does that mean? So your digestive system slows down day 15 through 28. And especially getting closer towards day 28, it can slow down even more. It's just what happens in your system. So because of that, even things like fibrous foods, um, raw fruits and vegetables. So if you're like, ooh, raw broccoli and cauliflower, even it's supposed to be super healthy for you, mm -hmm. doesn't sit well and causes a lot of issues. Yeah, yeah, yep. Because your digestive system is slowed down. It's not cranking like it was before. So it's just going to kind of sit there in your gut and cause a problem and cause bloat. So anytime there's an issue or things aren't moving as quickly, it will cause bloat because there's this irritation in your digestive system that can cause bloat. So the food itself can cause inflammation. So it's just as simple as, you know what? 
cook the broccoli, steam it, you know, steam your spinach. Instead of eating a lot of like fresh salads, sometimes it's easier in your system to steam spinach and eat that because it's already broken that fibrous component down. So your body can break that, you know, digest it and upload the nutrients a heck of a lot easier. It's just nicer in your stomach. It doesn't ruin the food or anything. It's just, it's nicer. Be nicer to your belly. When your belly's happy, you're happy. Meh. You know. Um, and then just some foods also are more inflammatory. You know, things like gluten, dairy, sugar, red meat, all that stuff can be more inflammatory. So it just depends on specifically what, you know, the case is for you. Again, so your digestive system is slowed down. So a lot of times I'll recommend adding in an additional, this means additional, an additional um, probiotic or an additional digestive enzyme. So if you're taking one or you're doing like apple cider vinegar in the morning regularly, great, that's fantastic, but you may need another serving. Um, you may need a serving before every meal to help your body break the, everything down so it's not screeching halt, right? Um, <laughs> you've fallen off the wagon in the past week in the progesterone stage. Oh, yes, yes. And that's really, really tough, again, because things are just slower. But the good thing is, is that you can turn it around really, really quickly. So having, your, having this... Um, you know, add it in can really, really help too. Oftentimes I'll talk about intermittent fasting. I'm not going to dive into it right now, but know that intermittent fasting is a great thing to help reset your digestive system too. So that if you're like, Oh, I just can't kick this bloat. It just won't disappear. I'm not sure what to do. Sometimes doing an intermittent fasting um, regimen can help reset your digestive system to improve things. Um, so that's, those are things to add extra of probiotic, digestive enzyme that's going to help hi melody um what's the best time to use probiotics um great question so that can be kind of any time i mean for a lot of people they get them in the morning but especially if your digestive system is slower you can get them in the morning and at night or before your like dinner if dinner is your next big meal um you know or a big meal that you're having get those probiotics in and enzymes in with that big meal just to help break that food down of course, chew your food. That can make a big difference. Um, don't drink a ton of water before you start eating. That can dilute your natural, you know, acids in your stomach that are breaking things down. Um, but those are some things to just focus on a little bit more, especially if your digestive system is angry at you. And you know it's angry at you if it's bloated. So, um, one of the things that I really caution you against, though, is not eating food not eating food is not good, right? That's going to work against your metabolism. That can make you more fatigued, right? Bloating can be just from a lot of irritation and inflammation in your system. So these are ways to work with that. Of course, there can be other, you know, other reasons, but these are main reasons that I notice women struggle with a lot. Um, what's with prebiotic? Prebiotic is just, a, you know, fibers, things like that. And, and those can, again, if you're getting too much fiber at this time, again, that can kind of backfire on you and cause you more bloat. But again, that's because your body's not processing through it as quickly. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, the progesterone phase is 15 through 28. These are things that I recommend. These are warming foods I recommend at this time that can also help with your digestive system. Super easy, simple. You can cook with them. You can add to your water, uh, ginger, fantastic, very warming, very, very good for digestion, very calming, cooling, everything else. Um, things like any spice, cinnamon, nutmeg, things like that. Um, even fennel, fennel is very good for your digestive system. So if you're having a lot of discomfort there, but these warming spices as well, really good to focus on those during this time to really, really work with progesterone and to help move things along in your digestive system. Win, 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 win. Anybody else watch the office? Okay. <laughs> um, but this is something that's amazing for women like ginger, lemon, ginger water all day. Fantastic. Lemon, ginger tea. Great. Um, adding more spices to your food. Cause that just sort of whoop, move things along. Now the last piece here is hydration. The thing to keep in mind, and this is something that I, when I work with women one-on-one -on -one in the, my program, that we really hone in on this because this makes a big difference. Most women don't hydrate correctly because we're not told we need to. Not because 
you don't want to, but because you're not really, oh, it's a thing I should be, yes, you should be hydrating differently where, for wherever you're at in your cycle. Why? Because your body doesn't upload hydration into your cells the same way. Why? Because you have different hormones each week of the month, Ooh, right? So when your body's higher in progesterone here, about days 15 through 28, a big important thing to realize is that just water alone is not going to hydrate you correctly, which means your body's going to be dehydrated, which means that it's going to be harder on your digestive system, which means you're going to float. So... Easy thing to do with hydration. I do this, um, I alternate this back and forth. I'll do one water bottle of water and then I'll do one water bottle of some type of light, electrolyte. That says electrolyte. Really messy way of electrolyte. Um, so um, Gator, Gatorade has some stuff and garbage in it, right? I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Gatorade. I'm not sponsored by Gatorade, clearly. I'm not sponsored by Costco either, but I do love Costco. But anyway, a healthy version of Gatorade. You go on Pinterest and there's a ton of them. You can use water, coconut water, a little bit of juice, a little bit of salt, right? You're looking for those, a little bit of um, glucose and then a little bit of electrolyte or minerals in there, salts and things like that. Sometimes calcium, magnesium powder you can add in there too. And getting like a water bottle full of water and a water bottle full of electrolytes alternating can help make sure you're getting different salts in your body and hydrate better. Because, I'm not going to get into it now, but, but your body doesn't recognize hydration the same way. And it's easier for your body to get overheated, which means it's not um, processing temperature the same way. So it's tougher. But again, most women get, they're like, oh, I keep drinking water, but I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty. I'm super bloated. I need more water. You're making yourself more bloated. <laughs> You're not getting in these electrolytes too. So I just alternate. I have two water bottles. They're like the same size. Um, they have different colored tops. <laughs> and I'll drink one of water and one of my electrolyte. And I do that throughout the day. Fantastic. All right. Um... Hey, number 87 for not bloating. Don't eat half of Harry Potter's birthday cake. Okay, that wasn't my fault, though. That wasn't my fault. That was not my fault. I have a couple of questions. Um, using hydrate hot days has been a game changer. Yes, Melody. Yes, so that's alternating hydrate versus water. Amazing. Just different ways of getting electrolytes in when making lemon ginger water. Fresh ginger or ground ginger? I use fresh. I've actually never used ground ginger when I make ginger water, but I suppose you could if you're using tea. Yeah, but I use fresh ginger. Um, yes. I will go. Here's my thing with ginger. Total honesty. I go to the store and I don't know what it is, but I get like competitive about getting the biggest piece of ginger I can find. I don't know why. I don't need that much ginger at once. I don't use like this much in my water. I use like, like a few little slivers, just little slivers. And I just put it in my water with a little bit of lemon. And that's what, that's what I use. But I get this huge thing and it's got all these like gnarls. And I'm like, the more gnarls on it, the better. I don't know. Right. Every time I go there and I pick out ginger, I'm like, I want the huge thing. I don't use it all. And then the other half of it goes bad in <laughs> by the time I get to it. So I, you know, now that you say that maybe I should try some other form of ginger. I don't know, but I do love the fresh ginger. I love the freshness of it. Um, I peel it with a spoon. Like I just peel off a like part of like this. Apparently I'm doing this really rapidly. Um, and then I just make little slices of it. But then there's that whole other end that I just don't even get to because I'm still working my way through this massive thing of ginger. I, I get the biggest one in the store. Maybe I'll try and do that differently next time I go. Get a smaller piece of ginger and go with that. But, or maybe get ground ginger. Maybe that. What do I think of pickle juice as an electrolyte? Um, yes, electrolyte, pickle juice. That is an excellent way that people use as an electrolyte. That is not something I use. But you do you. That's fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's, yep, it does work though. I will say that. It does work, pickle juice. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you guys like pickle juice, let me know. I, I like pickles. I'll eat pickles. I know, there's something about drinking the juice, though. I don't know. 
Yes, I throw it out. Yeah, I get, I, I don't use the ginger and then I throw it out and then I'm just, and then I feel bad, right? And then I go buy another huge thing of ginger, right? I, I don't, I don't learn. I don't learn my lesson. I go back to the store and I get this enormous thing of ginger, whatever. So, um, but that's, again, you can get kind of fancy, even if you're just doing lemon ginger water and you want to add and sort of make a fancy beverage with it, you can add some sugars and you can add, um, you know, even a little bit of salt to it. Great. That's some of it. That's getting some minerals in there. That's going to hydrate better. That's going to give you a way better results than just water alone to help with bloat. Blech. And this is also as you get closer and closer and closer to day 28, things really shift and change in your body. It doesn't process things as quickly. Having the right hydration, having the right digestive movement can make a big difference in how well you're feeling. So, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll put links below um, where you can you know, schedule a call. If you've got other questions, let me know. I do have a membership program for those of you um, that are, are looking at, you know, kind of testing the waters a little bit. That's a great place to start. But other than that, this is something that I, I love going through with women because like every gal knows what I'm talking about when they struggle with this. Few simple things that you can do to help you function better and feel better. All right, everybody have a great night. I'll see you later.